Moonshine Shoe here. I'm going to show you all how to make plum brandy. Come on. So for this one, we're going to use some Vintner's Plum Wine Base, 12 pounds of sugar, and I've got 75 cans of whole plums. So first things first, we're going to take all these plums and we're going to take all of the pits out of every single one. It's a dirty job, but it's got to get done. Then we're going to take all those pits, we're going to put them in a strainer, and we're going to wash them off, and we're going to get all of that juice and save all that for the fermenter. And once we got all that juice washed off all of those pits, we're going to toss that in with the rest of our plums. Now, there's a couple ways to do the next step. You can go ahead and toss all this stuff into a blender in batches, or you can do like we did and just take a mixer and start mixing it all up to break up all those plums. And we found the mixer was probably just going to be a little bit easier and a little bit faster. Now, we've tossed all those plums plus our 12 pounds of sugar into a fermenter, and now we're going to go ahead and add in our plum wine base. Give that a stir and add in some hot water to get all that sugar dissolved. Next, we're going to add in some pectic enzymes since we're working with fruit on this one. That pectic enzyme is going to help break down that fruit and help it ferment out a little bit easier. And next, we're going to add in our yeast and nutrients. We're using some BSG Fermax yeast nutrient, some Lavalin 71B, and some Lavalin K1V1116 on this one. And after we get all of our nutrients and our yeast put in there, we're going to go ahead and give this a little bit of stir, get it all incorporated, and toss on a lid and let this stuff ferment out. So after it was done fermenting, we had a lot of the plum pulp rise to the top. We're going to go ahead and skim all that off. Then we let this wine clarify for about another day before we pumped it into the still to run it to make the brandy. And since we're working with a really expensive mash here, we're going to go ahead and take our time distilling all this out. We're using the 100% all copper still from North Georgia Still Company. We're going to heat up slow, make tight cuts, and make sure we pitch all of those heads. And there it is, that beautiful crystal clear plum brandy. We got a great yield and this stuff tasted awesome. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Shine on.